What's up, one ox? My name's JC, and this is Hawk Now. Here's this week's Spanish and German word, and one of our students talks about an upcoming event for the Spanish Honor Society. Hey, what's up? My name is Brady, and the Spanish word of the week is la verdad. It means the truth. And to use it in a sentence, you could say, digo la verdad, which means I tell the truth. The German word of the week is bock. And bock means male deer, but how it's used is in an idiomatic expression, which means ich hab kein bock doesn't mean I don't have a male deer. It means I don't want to or I don't feel like it. And I'll use it in a phrase. So let's say you have a huge pile of homework, but you really don't want to do it. And you say, eh, ich hab kein Bock. But you really should do your homework. The Spanish Honor Society is hosting a pulsera sale or bracelet sale from bracelets from Latin American countries. And the money that we receive from you wonderful people will get sent back to support business people in Latin American countries. The sale will be during both lunch waves from December 4th to the 15th, and there's some really great products. Thank you. A few weeks ago on a Tuesday, we were lucky to have the Lion Heart Experience come out to our school and spread the message of self-acceptance and identity. Ladder, new young is me thinking like me. You feel it don't matter. Your dreams can get shattered. I understand that you don't see no purpose in the streets. No purpose in the beef. of vague topics with Connor and the main idea today is the history of Thanksgiving. I'm back here with Mr. Vagley again for the second vague topics. Hello Mr. Vagley. Good morning Connor. Glad to be back. Short version, uh, the very first Thanksgiving uh, took place in 1621. Then it's a compl the, sh the short simple version is a, um, a gathering between some of the recently arrived European settlers and some of the Native Americans, first Americans. Um, then a number of states uh, celebrated it in different ways and at different times. And then in 1863, President Lincoln um, turned it into a federal holiday. And just for people who don't know, what's a federal holiday? holiday? That means it applies to all states on the same day at the same time. And again, the simp I, what I described is the simple version. There's a whole lot more to that story, but that's, that's the short, simple version. All right. Thanks for talking with us again. Can I just add one thing, Connor? Yes. Um, one thing I hope people do with Thanksgiving is they think beyond turkeys and pilgrims and et cetera, and I hope they really focus on the real meaning of Thanksgiving, which is to, to be thankful, to give gratitude, you know, to be grateful for things. And a thought maybe for you and all your viewers is to think to yourself, what are two or three things that we're grateful for? Thank you. One more thing before we go. Next week, I'm going to be going around and asking students what they're doing over their long winter break. So if you want to get asked that question in the next talk now, please write your name on a piece of paper, come up to the media center, and put it in the box labeled winter break. Sorry that took a little bit, but we'll try to get right back on track. That's all we got for you this week. And as always, our school, your news, Hawk Now. They'd be like, this one Nona, this one Noma, this one Goda. And put it in the box labeled winter break. Thank you.